tonight, the dream pods have been cleared from around Vienta de Agosto Park. A 6 p.m. deadline was set after a federal judge told the city Tuesday his prior ruling did not stand in the way of taking action. Dozens of pods rolled into downtown the past few weeks, raising concerns about crime and sanitation. Safe Park organizers argued these pods were part of a protest against the criminalization of being homeless. But now they are gone. Now your size Justin Shecker reports from downtown. Again, Stella, by the 6 p.m. deadline tonight, all of the dream pods and tents that line these sidewalks here outside Bente de Augusto Park were gone. And police tell us it was a peaceful process removing them. Throughout the week, we had talked to the people that had been staying down here. Uh, once they were given that notice and they were told they had some kind of direction of what to do with that property, uh, they were okay with it for the most part. Safe Park founder John McLean called the removal of the Dream Pods a shame. Yeah, if I wasn't disappointed with um, the way our city handled the houseless population before, I certainly am now. Every single shelter in the city of Tucson has absolutely no beds available tonight. So the 60 or 70 people that used to reside here have absolutely nowhere to go. That wasn't the case for Daniel Tolbert. Come on, you're getting back to that truck, bro. After 10 nights sleeping in a safe park tent, he packed his belongings in time for La Frontera to give him a lift. I'm staying with my girlfriend over at Speedway in Alameda area. It's uh, sleeping outside still. But Tolbert says with the help of Kodak, a behavioral health and drug abuse prevention organization, he plans to find a new home soon. They're going to uh, pay my first month rent and pay my security deposit. In an apartment, which I'm excited about that. Where are the dream pods now? We're told 20 of them are being stored tonight at the Central City Assembly Church. Before tomorrow, they'll be taken back to Tombstone, where they were built. We're told that church is also opening its doors to house 50 to 70 homeless men for the next 90 days. In downtown, I'm Justin Shecker, Kega 9 on your side.